very warm good morning from Goa Fest. My morning is indeed warm. I have got Mr. Ravi Santhanam, a very difficult man to catch hold of, CMO of HDFC Bank. Ravi, uh, thanks for taking out time for us. Uh, I'll ask you very quick questions. One, of course, is that BFSI sector is expected to spend most during the last quarter of financial year. How was the last quarter for you in terms of marketing? Thanks, Nathan, for uh, the opportunity to speak with uh, opportunity. Good to see you. Good to see you on the TV. As usual, as you see rightly, quarter four has been one of the best quarters for all of us in the banking industry. Coming out of the COVID year compared to the previous year, has always been a better this year. And across the consumer category, we see a lot of uh, what do I say? An effervescence to spend more, and that is seen in our card spend, that is seen in the balances that we have. Uh, and so people doing a lot more spends. Card has actually done well on mobile phone TV as a country as well. And uh, as expected, we are definitely in the market for making more and more use of the media, more and more use of how to creatively reach our customers to get them hooked on our products and services. There's a boom in digital advertising, and you are amongst one of the top spenders on digital media. How, as a banking brand, do you ensure brand safety? Well, first, we need to understand what digital does for our bank. Uh, I keep uh, repeating this again and again that marketing is a revenue function in the bank today. Purely because of the fact that banking is one of those few industries where you can actually convert from sales to fulfillment to disbursement to life cycle management, everything digital. And so, digital marketing is one of the identified channels in the bank in terms of actually acquiring customers. And we are very clear we need to do that. And then, when you do that, actually, along with it, the brand safety comes into play because we need to make sure that this is HDFC Bank and this is exactly the right place that we need to go in. And uh, we do a lot of groundwork in terms of making sure that all our properties are very similar. We invest heavily in technology to make sure that our properties are very highly protected. Like for example, our mobile banking, our payment banking, our all those stuff. We have that technology, we have SIM binding, we have device binding that ensures that people are taken care of when any kind of a fraud or any attempt is happening. When you do the advertising, we are very clear, we go only with trusted partners, we do not use any third party providers. We directly deal with the trusted partners, and when you deal with trusted partners, we are sure that your brand is in a safe place, and we don't use third parties at all. Uh, you've all, almost answered my next question, but you know, still, I would want to understand that while you are also one of the biggest spenders, you are also most vulnerable sector when it comes to ad frauds. So, what are the kind of measures that you have taken to protect your brand? See, it's, it's more about awareness that you have to create amongst your consumers in terms of what is the right time for an HDFC bank and what is the right property or the destination of the HDFC bank. And we spend a lot of money in terms of technology. And, uh, we work with a lot of people who identify and help us in terms of where is it that our advertising is displayed, who are the people who are coming into our portal from where it is coming, whether it's a mall.